Hello, we are now in step 12.5, which we will focus on changing views and magnification, as well as changing the document view. If necessary, open up a Word document. And let's go to File, Open, and you will access your data files for Lesson 12. And we will open step 12.4. So your document should look like this, the ruts. The first thing we will do is save because you know it's important to always save your document before you get started working in your document. So let's go to File, Save As. We should be saving to our Lesson 12 folder and we will name this document RUTS and save. All right, so let's go to our ribbon and click on our view tab. Notice when we open up our view tab, we get several different groups. We have our document views, our show group, our zoom group, our windows group, and our macros group. So in the document views group, which is here, click on the full screen reading command. And notice the pages are displayed like a book, like a book that is open and you're able to see both pages. So the ribbon, the scroll bars, and the status bar are hidden. Notice you don't have any of that stuff at the bottom. However, a toolbar similar to the quick access toolbar here is displayed in your upper left hand corner. Now in the right, in the upper right corner of the screen, drop down on view options button to display the menu of options. So you want to highlight, if it's not already highlighted, notice um, highlight means that it's lit up in the, I guess, gold color. So you want to make sure show two pages is highlighted, which means that it's been selected, as well as show printed pages, which shows the pages as, as they will look if it is printed. You want to click that. And you also want to make sure your allow typing button is also toggled on as well. So after you have confirmed that the one, two, three options are all selected, click the view options to close and your screen should basically look like this. So make sure your screen looks just like mine. Now. To scroll through the pages in full screen reading view, which is what we are, um, you want to do one of the following. Either you can use the up and down arrow keys. So if you go down and back up, you can navigate that way. Or you can use the page up, page down on your keyboard. So page down and page up, page down and page up. So whichever your preference is, either way works. If you actually have a mouse that has a wheel on it, you can scroll using the wheel on the mouse as well. So show the first two pages of the document. So if need be, go to the back up to the first two pages and position the insertion point in front of the letter T of your title. 
and type the words in all caps getting through so your title should now read getting through the ruts the only reason why we were able to type to add our title because in our view options menu we selected allow typing so now let's toggle off allow typing so when we toggled off that meant we turned it off so click view options to close your menu and go back to getting through and try to type and notice it just basically won't allow you to type because we turned off the typing option when we went to our view options menu so let's close out a full screen this is one option of viewing in order to get out you simply close the button there and it takes you back to your normal default screen which is the print layout screen that is your default screen now in the lower right hand corner of your application window position your mouse over the document view buttons so that you get screen tips so our first screen tip tells us that we have print layout view which is exactly the same as this view the next one is full screen reading which is the view we just left that matches here we also have the web layout view button if you click that notice it takes you to a different view which is considered the web layout view which is this one here and it's toggled on to show you that's the view that you're in let's go to outline view so it looks just like an outline if you needed to create an outline let's close out of outline view we also have draft view so we have five different views go back to the view tab we have five different views that you guys can view your document the print layout view is the default view save the changes by clicking save and leave the document open we've just learned how to go to the five different views on our view tab I will see you on the next step.